Hello everyone. Welcome to S2S classes. In this video, we will study the chapter 1 of unit 1 class 5th NCRT that is Ice Cream Man. So let us read and enjoy this poem. Firstly, in this picture, we are seeing an ice cream man and thus we clearly know that this is a poem completely about the joy of ice cream the joy of students and children when they eat ice cream okay and we can see so many children have surrounded his cart so we have a basic idea about what the poem is so let us start with it now so what is cold sweet and creamy and wonderful to eat cold sweet and creamy and wonderful to eat everyone's favorite treat especially on a hot summer day is an ice cream so again we are talking about ice cream that it is cold sweet creamy and everyone's favorite sweet dish on a hot summer day so and everyone's favorite person might just be the ice cream man so obviously if the favorite dish is ice cream then the favorite person will be the ice cream man so now we are clear that we are reading about the ice cream as well as the ice cream man as the name of the poem also suggests so let us read the poem now it says when summer is in the city and bricks blaze of heat that means very hot The ice cream man with his little cart goes trundling down the street. Okay, so the ice cream man roams around the street. Beneath his round umbrellas, oh, what a joyful sight. So the joyful sight they're talking about are the ice creams. Okay, beneath his umbrella. To see him fill the cones with mounds of cooling brown and white. To see him fill the cones, the ice cream cones of Cooling brown and white are the flavors of ice cream. Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry or chilly things to drink. That means he also have drinks in his cart. From bottles full of frosty fizz, green, orange, white or pink. So soft drinks of different colors. Then we have his kite, his cart might, might be a flower bed of roses and sweet peas. So it is compared to a flower bed. And the way the children cluster around as thick as honeybees. So basically we know that honeybees cluster around the flower beds. And so we can, in the similar way, the ice cream man's cart is compared to a flower bed. And the children are compared to the honeybees. In the same way as honeybees cluster around the flower bed, the children cluster around the ice cream man's cart. So I guess the poem is clear. Let's see what are the questions about it. Here are some new words which we need to learn. So blaze is a bright flame of fire. Blaze means a bright flame of fire. Hot. Trundling is moving on small broad wheels. So trundling is moving basically and we heard that he trundles around the car uh, around with his car that is he moves around mounds is heap or pile cones are filled with mounds right so that means when we put the uh, flavor in the cone we are we make mounds of ice cream in it frosty fizz was used for the drinks and it means chilled drink making a hissing or bubbling sound have you ever noticed when you open a bottle of cold drinks it has some very bubbling sound in it that's called frosty fizz now cluster is to gather around and a group of similar things uh, uh, we took an example of honeybees clustering around the flower bit and in the similar way children cluster around the cart okay then we have some questions and we need to answer them in which season is ice cream popular this we all know summer season because it's a cold thing to eat so people prefer it during summer season who feels joyful on seeing the ice cream man 
the speaker of the poem i write to the answer over here the speaker of the poem feels joyful while seeing the ice cream man and he says that the children get very excited when they see him name the different flavors of ice cream the ice cream man has in his cart so as we read in the poem he has vanilla chocolate and strawberry so we'll write it here vanilla chocolate and strawberry he has the following uh, following flavors then what are the two things that the ice cream man is selling so the ice cream man is selling obviously he is selling ice cream and he is selling cold drinks okay and then what is the ice cream compared to the poem so right over here we read that it is compared to flower bed i write it clear flower beds because flower beds of roses and sweet peas because they are the children are compared to honey bees and as the honey bees cluster around the flower beds in the similar way children cluster around the ice cream man's cart so we are done with all the five questions let's see the next page it says having an ice cream on a hot summer day is exciting and enjoyable obviously so now we need to write about some of the exciting and enjoyable things that one can do in the winter season so we all know we have different seasons right we have summer season we have winter season we have rainy season we have autumn so there are different types of seasons and we would love to do different types of things in all the seasons so now we need to write some of the exciting and enjoyable things that one can do in the winter season so i'll write a few and you can continue to add on the list according to your likes and dislikes so in winter season we can eat hot sandwiches eat hot sandwiches we can eat hot drinks okay then we can sit around fire we call it a bonfire where people sit around fire and they chit chat and then you can eat popcorns and peanuts I feel that eating peanuts in the winter is kind of a tradition for Indian families as most of the families do it. So these are the few things which we feel excited and enjoyable things we can do in the winter season. Now let's see what's next. It says list as many activities which you can do in summers. So obviously as I said different seasons different activities. Now we need to write some of the activities we can do in the summer season. So we can go for swimming tracking evening walks then we can also read story books in our summer holidays obviously and then we can play video games because summer is all about the summer holidays for children and then we can go for a picnic at some hill station okay and then going for evening walks i have already written we can draw or sketch also now what we need to do is we need to group these activities into indoor as well as outdoor activities okay so i'll write the indoor activities over here and i'll write the outdoor activities over here so swimming is an outdoor activity tracking is also an outdoor activity reading story books playing video games are indoor reading story books and playing video games don't mind my handwriting please and then going for a picnic at some hill station is 
outdoor and drawing or sketching is indoor again so we are clear that which all activities are indoor and which all are outdoor and let me tell you indoor activities are those activities which are performed inside the house and outdoor activities are those activities which are carried out outside the house so next we have circle the words where you get a z sound so one has been done for you now what we need to do is we need to circle the words which have a z sound that is sound in the end so one has been done for us now we'll pronounce the words and we'll see whether it has a sound this sound in its end or not so honey bees has this now you can do it on your own and i'll help you in doing it price does not has this sound it's price rice also does not has this sound in this particular line we have lazy as well as cheese other three words don't have and raise also other two words don't have this sound in the end then in the next line we have price rice raise these three words have this sound in the end while the other two don't have in the next we have maze blaze and these these three words have this sound while the other two don't have then we have face we have fizz racy ace and frosty so only one word has this sound in the end and the other words don't have so the words which i have circled have this particular sound in the end while the other words don't have so it says let's listen listen and tell the sounds that these words in the poem produce so as we have already talked about various sounds in the poem this is a task for you all task for you all now what you need to do is you need to talk to your friends and tell me the answer for it in the comment section below okay this is an task you need to read the poem again you need to list the various sounds used in the poem and you need to answer for it the cart as well as the drinks now let me give you a hint the word which is made by the drinks is specifically used in the box of new words also so i hope almost all of you will now be knowing that what i am talking about but still you need to go back there and find out the word then it says can you make these sounds so can you make these sounds you need to answer it okay you write the sounds and then you need to say that whether you can make these sounds or not so i want the answers in the comment section and after some days even i'll share the answer with you then we have what are some of the different sounds you hear when the ice cream man comes so we need to write the different sounds when we hear the ice when the ice cream man comes so we hear the sound of a ringing bell usually when he comes he rings a bell so that it's a signal that he has arrived then he cries loudly that means he shouts loud loudly for selling out his ice creams and then we also have joyful shouting of the children wait okay we also hear joyful shouting of the children so these are some of the common sounds which are here when the ice cream man comes if you have something new to share with please feel free to do that then we have find out and write a report here is a report on uncle lal's farm father took me to visit uncle lal's dairy farm i saw all of uncle lal's cows he has 50 cows they eat grass in the big green farms in the evening the farmers bring them to the barn to be milked uncle lal sells his milk in the city so basically this was a report on uncle lal's farm now we have some points which we need to take care of while we are writing a remo uh, report so it says think of a good title and write it correctly title is something very important because it attracts the reader to read your report okay keep it to your subject 
that means write keep it to the point if you're writing about something you need to write about it only then tell things in the right order order matters the most and make your paper look neat if it's clean and neat people would like to read it and if it's dirty no one would like to read it so these are a few points which we need to take care of while we are writing a report and here an example of how to write a report is given here okay so now let's see what we need to do it says in groups of four write a report on different brands of ice cream available in your area so now we need to write a report on different the brands of ice creams available in our area so you may use the following clues and some of the clues for our help are also given here start with a short introduction which contains the topic then list the ice cream brands available in your area next say which are the common flavors of ice cream in each one of the brands and under each brand find out which flavors are being sold the most also find out their prices finally write which do you think is the most popular ice cream so basically we need to write a report on the different brands of ice cream used in our area with the help of the following clues given here and the instructions we got about how to write a report so you need to do this on your own but i'll uh, write starting two three lines so that you can uh, get some help and i'll i'll also read out a report for you which will be helpful for you when you write your own report so our group you can start with this line our group visited three ice cream parlors in our area visited three ice cream parlors in our area okay then mother dairy sells three flavors namely mango do it vanilla and choco chocoba quality wars offers orange bar twister and choco feet and amul has raspberry coca cola coca cola bar and surprise bar so then you i'll write the point here you need to name the brands and the flavors they sell okay and then you need to write prices range from rupees 15 to rupees 25 you need to talk about the price then and then we tasted all of them in my opinion mother dairy's vanilla ice cream is the most popular so you need to tell them that you tasted everything and then write your point of view okay so with this you'll come to the end of the report so basically you'll start by our group visited three ice cream parlors in your uh, in our area then you can name the brands you visited and the flavors they have then their price then you can say that you tasted or whatever you feel in your opinion is the best so this is how you will write a report you all try this this was just an example you can make it more innovative and add your own points to it then we have word building so we need to color the boxes that have right uh, rhyming words okay so this will be easy now rhyming words are the words which sound similar to each other sound similar to each other these words are called the rhyming words now what we need to do is we need to color the boxes having rhyming words so city and cart they are not the rhyming words then we have heat and street these are the rhyming words i'll color the box blows goes this can this is also a rhyming word do go no they are not the rhyming words hard and yard sky and my bowl and doll no play obey cow so race face label table right night so you can see the boxes which i have colored are a pair of rhyming words when you will read these words you will feel that they are sounding similar hard yard sky my
प्ले ओबे हीट स्ट्रीट ब्लोज गोज रेस फेस राइट नाइट लेबल टेबल सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू लेट सी वॉट इज नेक्स्ट इट सेज वॉट डू द फॉलोइंग वर्ड्स डिस्क्राइब इन द पोएम सो वी नीड टू राइट बेसिकली दैट फॉर वॉट एक्चुअली फॉर वॉट थिंग्स दीज थ्री वर्ड्स हैव बीन यूज इन द पोएम वेन वी यूज सम वर्ड्स इन द पोएम दे आर यूजली यूज टू डिस्क्राइब सम पर्टिकुलर thing okay so now we need to answer that for uh, which thing these words have been used in the poem so the word joyful has been used for sight it was compared when the ice cream mans the ice cream are of joyful sight below the umbrella okay then we have little little was uh, used for the word cart the ice cream man's cart then round was used for umbrella the umbrella is round and it was used for the umbrella of ice cream man then we have what are the describing words used in the poem for the following now these words are used to describe something now we need to find the describing words which are used in the poem for the following so these words are used in the poem now we need to find the describing words from them so the thing we did in this will be the just opposite of this so we need to find out the describing words for the word mounds so we have cooling brown and white i'll show you back in the poem also cooling brown and white then we have flavor we talked about vanilla chocolate and strawberry and cluster thick cluster okay so we now know that so we now know that what are the describing words for the following words used in the poem and i hope it is clear to you that what are the there is a difference between the describing words and the normal words the describing words are used to describe a particular word in the poem so at first we found out the words when the describing words were given to us and in the second one we find out the describing words when the words were given to us okay now let's see what we have to do next it says fun time color the boxes with the colors of the flavors mentioned in each now what we need to do is we need to color these flavors according to their color so as it is chocolate we'll color it with a brown color okay so it's chocolate so let's color it with a brown color this is a fun activity and you all can do this okay then we have vanilla it will remain white only because vanilla is a white color so there's no point in coloring it then we have orange orange ice cream has an orange color only then we have black currant it will be black in color then we have strawberry strawberry is reddish pink so we'll color it with red here raspberry and strawberry are of the almost of the same color so let us do it the same again then we have butterscotch butterscotch can be done with a light yellow you can do it with with your colors i have this color available here so i'm doing it with this one and then we have pista pista can be done with a light green color this can be the best color for pista you can do it with your own colors 
yeah so we have now colored the ice cream flavors according to their own colors now what you need to do is draw and color your dream ice cream describe it using interesting describing words the colors the flavors the size how it looks tastes feels etc so this is a fun activity you need to draw your dream ice cream it can be in any way you want it to be but you need to do it you need to describe it using interesting describing words okay so you can say like it is a huge bar like a rocket huge bar like a rocket and then it, you can say exotic taste basically some interesting words used some uh, and then it can have several flavors so what you need to do is you need to draw ice cream your dream ice cream with as many colors and as many interesting things you want it to have and then you need to describe it using interesting describing words this is a very interesting activity and you will love doing it because we all love ice creams so please do it then we have have you ever eaten kulfi ice cream from north india okay so kulfi is an ice cream we eat a lot in north part northern india and if you have not tried kulfi yet do try it. it's very amazing in taste and i guess almost everyone has tried it once or once in our life now the following sentences describe how is it served but they're not in the correct order write the correct number before each sentence so the children who have eaten kulfi might definitely be knowing the correct order now we need to arrange it in a correct order so it says let me read all the four ones he scoops out the kulfi on a plate then he pours some sweet syrup over it and serves it the kulfi wala takes the kulfi mold out of the pitcher he arranges some faluda around it now we need to arrange them so the first step will be the kulfi wala takes the kulfi mold out of the pitcher so this one will be the first step then the second will be he scoops out the kulfi on a plate the third will be he arranges some faluda on it and the fourth is he pours some syrup over it and serves it so the correct order is 2 4 what am i writing sorry so actually i was saying that the correct order has been listed over here now the third sentence will be the first one the second is on the top this is the third and the fourth now okay so this is the correct order and this is actually kulfi faluda this is also very tasty he takes out the kulfi keeps it on a plate and then eats it so with this we have come to the end of the chapter and in this chapter we read about the ice cream man the ice cream man his cart rhyming words different flavors and then we also read about the happiness we get after eating ice cream and then we read about kulfi faluda so i hope the poem is clear to you if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe our channel we'll study the next chapter in the next video that's all thank you